<laughs> Dude, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Shaking like a horror tree. Oh. oh, man. <laughs> no! first spot well just for tonight I got another buddy that's coming tomorrow afternoon but this is the spot I wanted to get to tonight so we've already seen a bunch of elk a couple of white tail but hopefully we find some bears just got to keep looking we've probably been here like maybe five minutes and we spotted a bear didn't get a very good long look at it I got a little bit of phone scope footage, but then it kind of dipped on the back side of this ridge, so we can't see it anymore. We're hoping maybe he pops back out on this side and maybe comes a little bit lower, because we could put a, or make a play on him tonight if he does that. About 45 minutes the bear came back out and after getting a better look we realized it was a smaller bear. With it being an over the counter unit and having a lot of hunting pressure we were going back and forth if we should take this bear. We ended up deciding that it would be a great first bear but didn't have enough time to make a play that night. So we watched it the rest of the night and made a plan to come back in the morning. Back in the same spot we're gonna try to relocate that bear from last night and yeah, make a play on it. So that's the plan for today. Hopefully it turns out. The top thing? Yeah. I mean, I found that bear though. Where's he at? Right in the opening. That bear popped back out. It's a lot lower than it was yesterday. So we think we can make a play on it. But we're kind of just watching it for a second. But it definitely looks like it's moving down. So we're going to drop down the ridge a few hundred yards and see if we can take a shot across the canyon. We'll see. After missing that bear in the morning, we decided to go back and regroup back at camp 
We met up with Rhett and made a game plan for the evening. So last night, by what, 30 minutes before dark, an hour, we spotted a bear a long ways away. We tried cutting the distance and we are probably, what, five minutes too slow? <laughs> five minutes away from getting a shot. And then the bear just went into the trees. So we're back at the same spot, hoping that he comes back out today. All right, we just spotted a bear. We're thinking it's probably the same one from yesterday, but we're not sure. So we're gonna take a poke. Look at this. <laughs> Shake it like a horror oh. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Boom. Oh, I smoked him right in the bread basket. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Brayden spotted Skabot. Uh, Scarbot. <laughs> uh, probably half 20 minutes ago. And we decided to get closer. He was 650. We were able to cut one drainage over and walk down the, the ridge line. And we got to 350. We set up and I pulled the trigger, hit the front shoulder, and it ended up rolling down the cliff. You'll see it right here. <laughs> tumble, tumble, tumble. We're gonna go back to the bags. We're gonna give it a little bit of time. Uh, probably eat something because the adrenaline peaked and uh, now I'm, I got the shakes. It's a long ways to that bear. Off of. That tastes good, buddy. Can't believe how far it fell. The best part about killing something and finding it is getting your victory Pepsi. The bear saw cleaned up. And hopefully a little bit of movement will warm us up, because I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> 